Well, the Federal High Court in Kano on Friday had sacked all 44 chairmanship and councillorship candidates of the new Nigeria People's Party for Saturday's local government elections. The ruling was delivered on Friday by Justice Simon Amobeda following a case filed by engineer Mohamed Babayo and a faction of the NNPP against the party's leadership. Justice Amobeda ruled that the Kano State Independent Electoral Commission should accept a new list of candidates submitted by the faction led by the recognized state chairman Dalhatu Shehu Usman in accordance with the party's constitution. He further instructed that Kansiek must recognize the list of candidates submitted by the plaintiffs. And now to discuss this, we're joined by Junaidu Aminu Kilishi, senior legislative aide to the Deputy Senate President. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Junaidu, for joining us. Uh, can you please unmute your device and say something so that we know that we have audio quality from your end too? Well, I, I, I thank you for letting me uh, in here. And uh, as you said earlier, I am Junaid Amini Kilishi by name and uh, senior legislative aide to the uh, deputy president of the Senate. Okay, so I let's get, talking. yes, let's, let's quickly get into it because of time now. Uh, let's first talk about this. How might the conflict, uh, looking at the conflicting court rulings now that we've seen both at the Federal High Court in Abuja and the one uh, by the Kano State High Court in terms of halting and another one upholding the election, how do you think that would affect the legitimacy of this uh, Kano local council election? Well, actually, I am very much uh, uh, angry, and uh, in other words, I am surprised that the Kano State government upheld the local government election despite the court order uh, issued by the Federal High Court uh, on the 22nd of uh, uh, October 2024, because I, I, I have seen that they have rushed to the court to secure uh, a different court order that they think is a remedy to them, which is not. Because the court has, uh, in the first place, ordered that, uh, uh, the, that the leadership of the CANSEC, which is Kano State uh, Independent Electoral Commission, should be uh, you know, uh, disqualified, or the court has already disqualified them and dismantled them for not being qualified by the, by the law, constitutionally by the, by the Nigerian uh, uh, Constitution 1999 as amended, and also by the CANSEC uh, laws. Uh, so uh, by, by that, the, 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 the court, the federal high court, you know, invalidated the appointment, despite the fact that uh, they all know about this, they went on or they moved on to conduct their election. I told you that they went to the court, state court, to secure uh, uh, a court order that will allow them or will opportunize them to move on and proceed with their, with their local government election. But I think they misinterpret and they misunderstand the, 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 the order that was given to them by the state uh, uh, high court, because the state high court is not, you know, in any way uh, disregarding the first judgment given by the High Court, because it says that they have, or it affirms that the CANSEC has the power to conduct local government election, and nobody is challenging that. Nobody is challenging the power of, uh, you know, the CANSEC to conduct, you know, uh, the local government election. Okay. But what is being challenged uh, is that the, the appointment of the leadership, both the chairman okay. and its members yeah. of the CANSEC, that they qualified due to that, uh, the, the appointment is not in the line with the Constitution. So, do and I do? is not in, the, in line with the, with, the, with the rules and laws of the CANSEC itself. Uh, do I, do? Do I, I, I want to actually understand on, on what premise um, that particular judgment by the Federal High Court um, in Abuja is premised in terms of how the leadership of the NNPP is not valid how it was constituted and how it is not valid. I'd like to understand that part. Were they not, you know, constitutionally, you know, elected by members of the party? Or what actually invalidates, you know, the leadership of the party before it was actually well, taken to court? Very, very clear. When you look at the judgment issued by the, by the federal high court, it has already stated its ground 
for invalidating or disqualifying the leadership of the, you know, uh, CANSEC. Uh, they are disqualified because, uh, you know, when you look at the judgment, it has already cited that due to Section 200, Section 197, Section 199. And when you come to the, you know, laws governing the CANSEC itself, there is a law that was passed, that there was a bill passed and uh, read and signed into law by the Kano State National Assembly in 2001, which says that, uh, you know, uh, the leadership of this CANSEC, if they are partisan politician, they, would not, they, they, they cannot be, uh, you know, appointed as, uh, as a chairman and members of the CANSEC. So what invalidated them and what disqualified them from being chairman and, uh, and members of the CANSEC, and the reason itself why the court has uh, disqualified them, it is because their appointment is not in line with the Constitution and it's not in line with, uh, you know, it, it, uh, CANSEC, it, uh, CANSEC laws uh, and rules. So uh, I, I'm, even, I'm even certain that the, 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 the Kano State National Assembly has came out to say that there is nothing that will stop the Kano State local government to, to, to be conducted in, on this day 26. Okay. Because I, uh, uh, this, is, this, is, this is very sad for the, for the, for the Kano State National Assembly. Okay, so, and say, well, uh, okay, so I, I understand that part. Now, we, we've seen disruptions in, in some parts, in some polling units in Kano State. Uh, we've seen discrepancies in, you know, the judgment handed down uh, by the courts both at the state and at the federal level uh, and now apc also boycotted the election is that in a way going to legitimize um this election uh, conducted in the states well this is not election conducted wow. because i have told you earlier that the court has already given its judgment that even the INEC itself should not give any election materials to the concept so I wonder which materials have they used to conduct this election. Secondly, this uh, 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 leadership of this concept, they are being nullified, disqualified, and dismantled. They are dissolved by the, by the federal high court. So who are those uh, 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 leaders that conducted this election, that, that, that make this election possible? So there is the CANSEC at, 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 of this, at of this time, there is no leadership in CANSEC. Then who conducted the election? And uh, INEC has not given them. Uh, 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 has not given them uh, election materials. So what have they used in conducting this election? Okay. So now that we are at this point, now 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 that we are at this point, do I do? I understand. Now that we are we are at this point, is there any legal recourse? that could be undertaken, either by the opposition or aggrieved parties, because you also mentioned that the county state assembly seems not to be uh, aligned to this or with this particular uh, conduct of the elections. So in terms of pursuing um, the rightful position of the law, in this case, uh, what position or legal uh, you know, recourse or process do you think um, any of the aggrieved parties can actually take to right this wrong? Well, actually, this has already been taken into legal, legal, legal consideration because I have told you, and it is, it is very, very clear to each and every one of us that uh, the court has already made its stand. And uh, the, the governor himself and uh, the state assembly and the CANSEC, they are already aware of the judgment passed by the court of law. So uh, I, I will tell you that uh, this election that they have conducted today is null and void in okay. place of the law. Okay. Uh, Janaidu Aminu Kalishi, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us. Thank you, too.